Hello and welcome to the second installment of introductory videos for SBEZ forms. In this video, I'm going to describe how to modify the form layout using SBEZ forms. I'm starting with an out of the box contacts list with a few fields added and a second content type that has a few more fields added. I'll start by collapsing the default form and clicking the add container button. I'll choose tabs from the drop down list and say add and put in my tab names. Then I'll move that to the top of the form. Then expand the default form and I can start grabbing fields and putting them on my tabs. As you can see, the what you see is what you get editor on the right hand side updates as I'm doing this. Also note that since the HR tab is blank, it's not displayed over here. Now I can save that, switch over to the form, refresh it, and I'll see my changes. Now I'm going to add another container. I'll collapse all the existing containers first. Click Add and choose columns from the drop-down list. I'll put in column names. These don't get displayed in the form. You can put whatever you want in here. They only get displayed in the editor. So expand default forms and I can start putting fields on my columns. Now I'm going to add another columns container. This time I want four columns. I'll move that to below the first columns container and put some fields on it. I'll save that and take a look at what we've got. So the reason for adding a second columns container is these are smaller fields so I can fit more columns in the same space. So I chose three columns then four columns. Now I'm going to add a fourth container, and in this case I'll choose accordion as the type. Put in the content area names. I'm 
move the accordion to just above the default form and put my remaining columns on it. Save that. And take a look at my new form. Switching back over here, I see there are no more fields, so I should be pretty well done with layout. But if I switch back and go to my list, go to the new list, and choose my second content type, I see that there are four fields on the bottom that are on the default form, and I never got an opportunity to configure them. What's up with that? Switching back over to the editor, there's a content type drop down here. If I choose employee from it, it refreshes and gives me the additional fields. I'm going to grab these fields and drop, the, drop them onto the two HR content areas. Save that, switch back over to my form, and refresh. And now I have an HR tab and an HR content area in the accordion. If I go back over here, and select new contact, the HR tab and the HR content area aren't there. So you can configure different fields from different content types using SB Easy Forms, but they share the same layout, the same configuration. There is only one configuration per list in SB Easy Forms right now. These three container types, columns, tabs, and accordion, are what's available in the first stable release of SB Easy Forms, version 2014.01, to modify the form layout. But if you notice, when I hit Add Container, there are a couple of different container types here, HTML Snippet and Wizard, that I haven't shown you at all. These are actually available in the Add-ons package, the latest version of which is 2014.01.16 as of this recording. I'll switch over to a different list to demonstrate those. This is a simple list with just a few fields. If I open this up in the editor and hit Add Container, and choose wizard. Drag my fields onto that. save it, and refresh my form. Now it looks like a simple wizard with next and previous buttons to navigate through it. Now I don't have to navigate to the end in order to submit it, but if there are validation errors when I do submit it, it will switch to the first page that has a validation error. The reason why I demonstrated this in a different list is because this really doesn't make sense as part of a form with a lot of layout and a bunch of different containers. A wizard can container really should be pretty much the whole form or almost the whole form. Now I'll switch back to my original list to demonstrate the last container type, which is the HTML snippet container. This container satisfies the most frequent request I've gotten since I released SBEZ forms, which is can I insert some arbitrary HTML into the page? 
usually for things like headers. So with this container, I can enter some text, select the text and change the font, change the font size, make it bold, change the background color, center, italicize, basic rich text editor functionality. I suppose in this case I probably should also change the font color. Hit OK and it inserts it into the bottom of the form and I can move it around just like any other container. I can also bring it back up and edit the source code. And here I have complete flexibility to make it however I want it, including inserting some style elements that affect other things on the page, like the background of the form in this case. So that about does it for containers and layouts and SP Easy Forms. In my next video, I'm going to talk about configuring conditional visibility for fields in SP Easy Forms. I'll see you then.